As the conflict in Ukraine persists with no clear advantage for either side, Russian companies have begun offering cash rewards for the destruction of F-16 fighting Falcon jets. These Western aircraft, soon to be deployed in Ukrainian skies, have become prioritized targets through these initiatives. This information was first revealed on the Russian Ministry of Defense's Telegram channel on Tuesday, July 16, 2024. According to the Defense Ministry, monetary rewards of 500,000 rubles have also been offered for the destruction of NATO tanks in Avdiivka, a city in Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast. An attached video showed Russian service members receiving these rewards and shaking hands with their superior officers, likely aiming to further motivate troops while highlighting Russian efforts to counter NATO's advanced military equipment in the region. The delivery of F-16 jets to Ukraine has become a hot topic among defense observers and international policymakers. Ukraine has long expressed its desire to acquire F-16s to bolster its air capabilities against Russian aggression, a request dating back several years but gaining new urgency since Russia's invasion in February 2022. It was not until early July 2024 that NATO countries, through U.S. Secretary of State Blinken, announced the imminent delivery of F-16s, a year after the start of Ukrainian pilot training. Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, and Belgium have announced they will deliver fewer than 100 F-16s to Ukraine over several years. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a multi-role combat aircraft developed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force. Having entered service in the 1980s, it has since been adopted by 25 other countries, with over 4,500 units built to date. The F-16 is known for its versatility, capable of performing both day and night missions under all weather conditions, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. It is equipped to carry a wide range of armaments, including AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles, and laser-guided bombs, making it a valuable asset for air forces worldwide. However, despite the impressive capabilities of the F-16, its potential impact on the conflict in Ukraine should not be overstated. The challenges Ukraine faces in its war against Russia extend beyond air power, and Russia's advanced defensive capabilities, particularly in air defense and electronic warfare, could limit the effectiveness of the F-16s. Moreover, Ukraine will need to be able to defend the bases where these aircraft are located. Additionally, the maintenance and logistical support required for these advanced aircraft could pose additional challenges. Ultimately, while the introduction of F-16s may provide significant support to Ukraine, it will not radically transform the strategic landscape of the current conflict. The destruction of Western military equipment by Russian forces carries a particularly strong symbolism in the current geopolitical context. It is not just about the physical act of destroying equipment, it is also a demonstration of power and a clear message that Russia can directly challenge NATO's technological superiority. By specifically targeting equipment such as F-16 jets and NATO tanks, Russia seeks to prove its ability to interfere with Western interests and defend its position on the international stage. This approach serves not only as a lever in the conflict in Ukraine but also aims to boost internal morale and show the international community that Russia remains a powerful actor capable of effectively opposing Western military advances. This call for targeted actions against specific military equipment marks a significant escalation in warfare tactics, where financial incentives are used to encourage direct military actions against enemy equipment. This strategy reveals an additional dimension of the ongoing conflict, illustrating the increasing complexity of military engagements in the region and a willingness to push individual behavior to destroy these symbols representing Western aid to Ukraine.